Hey guys, um, I'm just uh, finishing it off, finishing off the uh, 17 volt pack for the e-bike. I took it out this morning for a test ride, and uh, it works great. Capacity is good. Uh, nothing shorts out or loses connection or anything like that. It just works good. The charge is up nice and nice and uh, nice and easy. Plugs in there, balance lead. But the only thing I never added was the 5 volts out for the phone or a light in emergency. Uh, so I'm using this DC-DC inverter. Um, this is not a step up, this is a step down. So the input voltage has to be higher than the output voltage. Um, this will be 17 volts in and 5 volts out. Uh, this piece here was included with the pack, but not the, not the uh, DC and DC inverter, which is uh, Fultz advertising. So I was just testing it here, it does work. We're going to throw it in the pack, or I should say glue it in. Um, I'm not going to... I'm going to set it up with an LED, which I got here. The reason for that is I'm going to hook it up with a switch so I can turn it off when it's not running. And it doesn't drain the battery down to zero volts, because there's no BMS, right? And uh, I'm adding the LED that I'll probably stick it in here where the uh, voltmeter would have been. That way, if I leave it on by mistake, at least there's a light there, I can go all and turn it off, you know what I mean? But uh, this is how I packed it up. Solid. Like, I mean solid. I mean, this is how solid it is. <laughs> Alright? It's not going anywhere. So, I left a little bit of room where I could stick it in here. Because of the way I designed it, it's right in here. I can basically the board should fit right in there. Yeah, just. I think what I'll do first is I will screw down and glue the uh, USB in because I think the one side is missing a screw. So I might have to glue it in as, as well. Oh, that's even if it even fits. Ugh. This is the side that's missing the, the uh, standoff for the screw, so maybe I should just cut it. It's not going to affect the, um, the traces at all. Let me take a look at it. So let's just trim it off on the side here. Try that. Well, that'll work. Oh, it just fits. It's still a little bit tight. I'll take a little bit more off. See, I should have actually installed this before I even set the batteries in, but you know, it is what it is. There. It's not that bad. Shouldn't have to take more than that off. I could probably just wire this right up to the jack here. Because uh, it's still got 17 volts to the jack, so for the power for charging. This would be all in vain if I can't get this USB in here. It's so tight. Damn it. I need a pair of scissors. Fingers off.
I'm just going to make sure I can actually plug something in there. I'm going to glue it in as well, so... Yeah, I'm never going to be able to get it completely flat in there. Nope. It's too close to the... Uh, it'll go in on an angle. So it's not bad. I'm not complaining about that. Let's see if we can get a screw in it. I saved any. And then we can uh, just put glue around it. And that should finish it off. Get that in there. It is not that one. It's going to be this one. Let's add a little bit of glue on it as well. That way it's, uh, yeah, it's going to work. No problem. That way it doesn't move around. Um, I brought my shoe goo down here. There it is. What's left of it. A few dabs of that stuff will do. I have just enough of this. Glue it right to the battery. It's not going to move. There. Okay, what's next? Okay, we'll let that dry before we go any further. Take a bit, and then we'll uh, finish it off. I went ahead and uh, put the board in anyway. There's the leads coming out for the LED. The board's standing up on its end. I got uh, some silicone. I squirted in there and in there to hold the board down so it doesn't jiggle around once that dries. Uh, I got the switch already wired up. Then you just have to basically plug your device in the side here. The right way. There we go. And turn it on. It's good for blackouts too. But uh, I, like I barely use it. That's why I wanted this switched. I uh, used one of the holes for the LED uh, uh, tester on the, on the front there for uh, testing the capacity. It's a blue light. Uh, I guess I should wire it up. Gotta tip the ends.
Let's see if this even works. Yep. Too much glue it in there, but uh, it's working. It's more than bright enough. This is in the very end here. I'm not going to have to really heat shrink it or anything like that. I just want to make sure the um, the LED is in there good and it's not going to pop out. It pop out now. Once that dries. Oh shit, kind of missed the, uh, the most important part. I gotta put that foam back in. So, gives the uh, battery some support. Well, that's why I kept testing it. One of them was gonna fall off and bending it around too much. Tries again. Missing one screw. This thing is solid. I don't think I'll have a problem with it unless I drop it. One thing I do have around here is we have blackouts in the summer, or brownouts, so this is something I can find useful. I can just carry it upstairs and plug the USB um, light into it versus using a flashlight or Anything else? There you go. Okay. Turns on by there. Oh, blackout. Or I gotta charge my phone. Plug it in. Bam! Sweet. Later, guys.